Thank you, Senator Dastyari. Senator Roberts. Thank you, Madam Deputy Pres Acting Deputy President. One thing Queenslanders and Australians say to me, as a servant to the people, is that Australians are tired of the political games being played by the duopoly of tired old parties. What is worse is Australians no longer trust both these parties. Trust is a key word, crucial to many Australians and most certainly to the people of Queensland. The public no longer trust the two tired old parties to be anything different, delivering the same window dressing year in, year out, election after election. Both parties dwell in Eastern Bloc socialism, their policies more reminiscent of Nicolas Ceausescu than any other government of the modern era, repressive, Stalinist, centrally planned, yet ultimately leading to poverty and desperation in a once proud and vibrant country. Both parties have sold out the battlers, everyday Australians, for quick, cheap, tacky and destructive politics. When Ceausescu was finally executed, they said one of the season's jokes was that Dante had been wrong and that hell was not hot at all. It was, in fact, as cold as a Romanian apartment in winter. This could be as easily said about Adelaide this winter thanks to the Labor, Greens, Xenophon Alliance and a gutlessly silent Liberal Party. The greatest rejoice in Romania after the revolution was simply being able to call it Christmas again. So penetrating was communism that simple words like family and Christmas had been banned. Imagine that. If only John Curtin and Ben Chifley knew what today's Labor were doing to their memory, their inheritance. How could Labor waltz in here, allied with Get Up, and spew forth that they were the party of the workers, with climate policies based on a lie, blatant lies, driving electricity prices and plunging many into living without electricity, into a cold as bitter as Dante's hell was hot? That living hell is cold. It is jobless, powerless, prospectless, futureless, and everyone knows it is enforced on us by a cold modern Labor aided and abetted by the Liberals in this and the other place. Imagine a situation where Curtin looked on the Labor Party of today to see them cuddling with the country's worst enemies, cuddling with climate zealots, zealots religious zealots, repressors of our freedom, and the destroyers of the working class. How ashamed that great man would be. He would die of that tragic heart attack all over again. That great man in office, that honourable Prime Minister, died after fighting day and night to protect us Aussies from the worst of our enemies. How dare today's Labor claim his inheritance? Would Curtin be proud of the cost of living pressures Labor now inflicts on everyday Aussies? Of the increases on everything but the wages that union thugs like the CFMEU and the AWU, who barter away working conditions and penalty rates week in, week out? Betrayal, hurt, pestilence is all today's Labor has brought to the national discourse, and I can say with certainty that revolution is brewing. The revenge, not in bullets, will be delivered at the ballot box. Senator Hanson and I hear the murmurs and disquiet in every corner of Queensland when we travel through our beautiful state. Aussies are being crushed by repressive costs of living, and in particular communist level taxation. The proposed solution to burden some taxes and broad tax reform is for the repress repressive Stalinist opposite to just propose more tax, more pain, more destitution and squeeze more blood from a famished populace. A message from those to whom we listen, the public. Remember them, the public, to Labor. A message to Labor. Your number is up. The death of the movement you self-cannibalised will be dealt with swiftly and not before time. Madam Acting Deputy President, for Labor to waltz into this place with an MPA like this is shameful. Although I suppose, on reflection, it's a good opportunity for us to turn our mind to how Labor's policies are so e eagerly taken up by the Liberals, how there is little difference in many areas between how both parties act like each other, so eagerly, so afraid to be real. It's timely to be reminded how the, those opposite have destroyed the working class and now target the most vulnerable while pretending to care for the less fortunate. No one trusts today's Labor. The ALP have morphed into a monster. They act like a mad king that could only be dreamt of by J.R.R. Martin. And you should treat mad dogs, mad kings rather, the way mad kings are always dealt with, regicide or regency. Untrustworthy, incompetent, shallow. Get out of the way, 
today's Labor and let the, la the grown-ups govern. Australians don't trust you anymore. Thank you, Senator Roberts.